To make a custom splint, you will need a sheet of low temperature thermoplastic, an electric heating pan, some strapping material, and some other common items found in most veterinary clinics. A heat gun is also helpful for spot heating and molding, but is not required. Low temperature thermoplastics vary in flexibility, drapeability, rigidity, memory, and texture. Also, they come in a variety of thicknesses and colors. Some thermoplastics are perforated to allow airflow and breathability. Perforated thermoplastics are also lighter in weight. The materials that you will need include a sheet of low temperature thermoplastic. The Marquis Easy brand is well suited for both large and small animals and is available through Jorgensen Laboratories Incorporated at 1-800-525-5614. An electric heating pan to heat water. Once the water is hot, you can immerse the thermoplastic sheet until it becomes soft and moldable. A plastic pan liner is ideal since it will prevent the thermoplastic from sticking to the bottom of the heating pan. A few sheets of paper towels work well to trace the shape of the animal's limb to make the splinting pattern. A magic marker and a waterproof marker or wax pencil is used to trace the shape of the limb and then to draw the cut paper pattern onto the thermoplastic. A cotton stocking is used to protect the animal when molding the warm thermoplastic around the limb. Tongs are used to remove the heated material from the hot water. Scissors are used to cut the pattern from the paper towel and to cut the softened thermoplastic. An ACE bandage is useful for holding the thermoplastic in place on the animal's limb until it hardens. A cotton towel is used to dry the thermoplastic once it is removed from the hot water. Strapping material available through Jorgensen Laboratories is used to fasten the splint to the animal's limb. Padding material also available through Jorgensen Laboratories is sometimes used to protect bony prominences or delicate skin areas. A heat gun can be used as the final step to soften and smooth the edges of the splint. 